What up? It's your boy, Pirate Kid Sosa, aka Big Sosa, aka Young Chungus, the biggest guy amongst us. <laughs> but yeah, man's man's about, man's here, you know. Today, well, tomorrow, by the time you're here, it's probably today, is Valentine's Day. And you know what that means. No, 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 no. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch it up this time, you know. Not another generic video about being lonely because let's let's face it, okay? Man's a nerd. Not just any nerd, man's a high level nerd, so man knows all about that. You know all about that. Stop laughing. We both know all about that. So there's no point trying to go on some random depression. Oh, you don't need no one, you're fine, you good. That we already know that. Okay? You know, just leave the loneliness talk for like 3 a.m. tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but that aside, yeah, I'ma talk about I'ma switch up a little bit, not too not too different because it's within the same realm realm of like discussion. You know, Valentine's Day, innit? Love, whatever. But we don't use that word around here. That shit dangerous. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But yeah, so here I'm going to talk about the, in quote, mechanics of liking. Or my mechanics, anyway. Like, liking in general. It's a weird topic, innit? So yeah. I guess I'll probably start with the first person I ever liked. First person I ever liked. That was way back when I was like five. I remember it. I was like, I was in nursery, you know, nurserying and shit. And I was like, went to the teacher, hey miss, I'm five. And they were like, hey, good for you, wait a minute. Time to go to reception. Like, if you're not in the UK, like the education system in primary school is like nursery, reception, yeah, one to six, and then you go second. But anyway, back to the kiddie part. Cause, I ain't trying to get arrested. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I went to reception, had to go to a new room. You know, this was my life now, you know? Open the door. First person I see was this girl. And that was it, that was, it was game over. I was like, wow, your face is pretty hype. I, of course I never told her that. Why would I do that? Why would you ever do that? You know, but <laughs> let me stop. Yeah, so, yeah. I liked her. I didn't tell her anything i had to, like she never knew that shit i had to say shit like year five she she left in year five and everyone wrote a big card for her in it like a super big card you know say we're gonna miss you blah, 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 blah. and i was like hmm is, is this my chance to say something no it wasn't because let's let's primary school and kids are brutal okay i was already getting teased off the back of my name Yes, Isosceles Triangle. I'm not even gonna say the other one because that one triggers me. And honestly, if I hear anyone say it, it's like, it's Arms House. I'll bring Arms House to the mom's house. Shout out Demon. But yeah, like, yeah. So I never said anything. Aww. Yeah, I know, sad, right? Funnily enough, like 10 years later, we end up going to the same college. College is equivalent to high school, if you Amerifolk, you know? But yeah, and did I say, this was my chance to say something, right? This was. This was the time. No, no, it wasn't. It was not the time. It was never the time. I ain't never saying that shit. But yeah, anyway, that was just my, my first experience of it. And I've come to understand myself a bit more, you know, when it comes to that realm. And that my mechanics, my like general process of going through the liking phase, it goes, it goes a little something like this. So yeah, I've come to know myself a bit more and I've found that when it comes to liking someone, there's this weird process I go through. For part of this video, I'm gonna try and illustrate an analogy. It's a really shit one. Okay, so imagine this. There's this anime called, uh, what do you call it? Okay, I go. There's this anime called Gundam Boy Sosangelion, Legend of the Weirdos Clout Lord. Don't act like that wouldn't be the best show ever, man. Come on. Come on, Crunchyroll, give me them damn awards, okay? And in this show, I'm a mech. Bear with me now, it's a bit mad, I know, but bear with me. And, then, and this mech is piloted by a bunch of men. So we've got Pilot 001, Brain. Pilot 003, Eyes. Pilot 007, Heart. Pilot 069, Lieutenant D Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. He's definitely not a part of the story. Stop looking at me like that. He's not part of the story. But yeah, multiple pilots operate in this absolute unit of a mech called Sosa. 
we growing like gaining out here, boy. So, you know, I'm out in the trenches, you know, just mashing out work, absolutely murking in this battle. This, this weird space battle. Yeah, this is an allegory for life because even just existing is a battle, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, whilst traversing the terrain, I may come across other life forms, such as the mythical woman. They're beautiful, I know, I know. But yeah, at the moment, that's all this life form is, a woman. Now, when this encounter happens, Pilot Eyes assesses the situation and reports to the leader, Pilot Brain. Facial symmetry factor is at high levels. This means that I've acknowledged their attractiveness. Pilot Brain acknowledges their acknowledgement and almost immediately shuts that shit down. Okay, that's nice, but we've got other things to focus on. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's right. I ain't got time to be walking. Man's trying to make like Scrooge McDuck and get this bread. Uh, quack. So we focus on other things and completely put it out of our minds as we continue to interact with the person. And that's all that happens most of the time. You're cute, but that's all. I ain't trying to wave dash into the DMs like that. I'm not Luigi, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, whilst interacting with said girl, eyes may start to notice them a bit more. Not even just looks, like personality, mannerisms, hilarity levels. Like, eyes is just noticing the aura. What to Lucario. Brain clocks onto this and tells eyes off. Hey, hey, slow your roll, soldier. Behave yourself. Follow the protocol. That's an order. Eyes apologizes multiple times. This goes on for a while and usually subsides. But sometimes it doesn't. It carries on long enough to get to the next step. After enough time, and usually one event, major or minor, doesn't really matter, something happens. See, until this moment, Pilot Heart was asleep. He wasn't thinking about a damn thing. But then suddenly he awakens, assesses the situation, stares at the data eyes and brain have collected, and starts to talk to brain. Hey! Hey! Hey brain! Hey! Heart is an annoying dastard. Like, really, really annoying. Hey brain! Hey! Hey! Hey brain! Hey, hey brain! Uh, what is it? What is it? What do you want? And he just looks at brain dead in the eyes and says with a stupid smile on his face I think I like her <laughs> Brain is rattled to his core This new piece of information does not bode well for the Sosangelion mech and must be neutralized at all costs What? Sh shut the hell up! No, no you don't! Go back to sleep or something! But Brain! Brain! Hey Brain! What is it? I like her! <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that And that's exactly what he does he does his best to ignore Hart, you know, because Hart's an annoying prick, isn't it? This goes on for ages, this back and forth of persistence on Hart's part and resistance on Brain's. Eyes is just there observing, like... Sooner or later, Brain finally begins to give in. Oh, Brain! Hey, Brain! B -b -brain! B brain 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 No, for Christ's sake, leave me alone! Oh my god, fine, fine, you want us to like her, we'll like her, just shut the hell up, god damn it! And that's it. Sosangelion has fallen to the like virus and takes the L. What usually ensues is me acknowledging that I like said girl, but never really doing anything about it. Because why would I? I mean, I've already cultivated a great and fulfilling friendship by that time, and it'd be dumb to mess that up. As you can tell, I'm pretty risk averse. I'm a risk averse individual. <laughs> Sometimes, on rare occasion, Hart manages to convince Brain to do something. Hey, Brain! Tell her! <laughs> no, why would I do that? Are you crazy? Tell her! No! Do it! No! Do it! No. Do it, you coward! Eyes is still there, just observing, like. Okay, fine, fine, I'll do it! Mouth! Wait, wait, what? What, what is it, boss? How can I help you? Fire the cannon! But I'm not that good of a pilot! Just do <laughs> it! And at that point, there's no going back. Solsengelion has fired his laser. He's expressed his feelings to the person of interest. And you know the rest. Wait, what? How, how do they go? Okay, um... I've actually only done it like, what, four times in my life? Been successful once. She was cool. Yeah. And that's it. That's that's the light process, I guess, that I go through. Um, yeah. Moral of the story, there is no moral. I was chatting shit. I don't know. It was Valentine's Day. I thought I should chat some shit. 
Yeah, you heard me. Shit. But yeah, but anyway, uh, that's it for now. You know, probably the first video of my, the year. I've been slacking, obviously, as usual. What else is new? But yeah, man. I hope you enjoy your day, whether you're alone or not. And I hope this story entertained you somewhat, you know, kept you kept you occupied for like 10 minutes or so. But yeah, you know, like, subscribe, all of that good shit. I am is out, yes sir. <laughs>